Hello everyone, welcome back to another card class tutorial. So this is card number two from our September class. And again, this is kind of the card um, leaning to what our workshop kit was looking for or asking for. And I try to stay pretty close to what we did here in the workshop. I just uh, used a different phrase in mine. And, but this phrase is coming with the stamp set, so you'll be covered if you want to do it this way. And I didn't use the stickles here because stickles takes a long time to dry. And in class, we don't always have time to do this. So if you happen to have like a gold um, or a brown type of um, stickles, you can use this to add some extra bling to um, the card. On the inside, I stamped a couple of um, the little um, leaves here. And these ones are actually including the phrase here. It's from a different set that we had a couple years ago. I don't think it is um, any more available. And looking at it, it's actually a stamp of the month. Um, so um, you might have something similar on hand or you just whatever you have. I just like to decorate my cards on the inside as well. And in this case, I just wanted something else for decoration on the bottom and a little phrase for the inside. So feel free to change this up. If you are uh, subscribed to my card making class, remember when you pull the things out to be careful because there are little pieces in here. Also, sometimes you like the card, but you want to use them for a different occasion. And since we're going to cover up the front completely, and your inside is stamped already. If you don't like this because you want to do something individual or something else, you just fold your card over the other way. Now this is your front. And since we're going to cover this up anyway, nobody will see. And you have a blank inside to stamp whatever you would like to stamp. The same thing is for um, the Seasons of Thanks, which is stamped um, for you already but if you don't like this you just flip it over i did edge the edges the the outside there too so you can flip it over and stamp whatever you want on the inside but that's if you don't want to use one i have given you here all right so this one here um we did a little bit edge distressing in form of using um a sponge and some ink and um I use our little round sponges and let me see if I have a whole one here. Usually I all cut them apart. I don't. So they come in a little round shape and I'll just use my scissors and cut them in little wedges. And then I put one of these little clips on there so that my fingers don't get all messy. And that's what we use to distress around the paper. And I already did a couple of them. Like I said, if you got this at home, yours is already done. If you want to replicate a card and just make it your own, um, I like to use any types of browns, grays, or I think for one card actually we use the rosemary, which is a gray green, um, but a more neutral color like this one right in here. So um, for distressing, that's usually the colors I would like. We have a toffee which is in a lighter brown depending on what paper it is and one uh, what I want to emphasize um, but usually that's the ones I like you can also use black black is a great one too but black is a very harsh color so I don't use it for everything in these cases here with the fall colors I just thought it was more appropriate to use um, the mocha the brown and these three pieces are already etched yep so we have to cut a little thin in our strip here. Let's do this first. So you want to determine the middle point of this site and then you just cut as far up as you want to go with your fin. And then you go from one corner to the point we just cut and then from the other corner to the tip here. And voila, there's your perfect V. We do this on the other side. You kind of like find the middle approximately here and then you just go from one corner to the tip 
in this corner and here you have it so when you're <clears throat> um when you're distressing i just like to use my little sponge here dip it a little bit and then just go along the edges you can use your ink pad which gives you a clean cleaner line but very dark usually and i often smudge it so i i like it a little bit softer if i want a little bit softer just a lighter edging i use a sponge it just gives me more control i'm not sure if i did this one here or not let's do it again so you just go around the edges here and i know it sometimes it's hard to see but it does make a little difference if you hold the plain one next to you that was cut and then you hold the one that you edged you can see the difference okay and then this one i know needs to be nope it was edged so so like i said i show you here again on the back side i just hold it as an angle and an angle and just go along the edges here to give it a little bit definition now we still have to stamp this one so i leave this open a season of things will go in the middle here and um, i will use my handy dandy testing as i mentioned before so i have one of these pouches just a bigger version between some scrap paper where i do testings on there and make sure my stamp is seasoned well so in this case i want to just go up and down on my ink pad i make sure i don't have um, ink so i got a little bit of ink on the edge here i'm just gonna rub it off oops and then to be on the safe side test it hold it on for a couple of seconds looking good so we repeat making sure my edges are clean and then i just center it and since they are see-through it's really nice so you just go straight down hold it for a couple of seconds and then you go straight up and there you have your perfectly stamped image then I just clean it with my chamois, close my ink pad, uh, so I don't get my project in there, because that has happened before. And let's get started to assemble. So first thing first, you make sure that your card is the right way around. And then we're going to cut this one, tack this one down first. And again, you can use any adhesive you have. I like to use the liquid because it gives me a few seconds to move this thing around and make sure it's centered on my phone perfectly. Then this is the next, and this one is cut at five by uh, three and three quarters. Well, this one is five and a half by four and a quarter. You center this on the front here <clears throat> then we have our green which is cut at four and a quarter by three and that goes in the center of this one Now we have to put in the flag first. And just have to make sure it's kind of level. So I can use my verse on that and line it up, which helps a great deal if you don't have this mat. This is a really great addition to your craft room. Okay, now we put this one on top. And again, this goes in the center of the green one. 
and then we have a frame if your frame doesn't have these holes just punch out the little cut pieces that are left in there it might be I try to clean them out but sometimes hey you can do a little bit too right when you get to set <laughs> so just punch them out with a pokey tool or something pencil they should just fall out now if you have scissors on hand um not scissors um tweezers on hand you can use those and then so i put a frame this way around you can put it this way around doesn't really matter but it's got a smaller opening here and a wider one on this side so i just keep it this way and then we can put our little gold gem has adhesive on the back so i just place this right here if it's when i go it sticks to my finger there you go somewhat right here and then we have those two pieces so these are stamped on colored cardstock but um you can still adhesive here <clears throat> you can still um take them and use some pencils or watercolors to enhance them and give them a little bit extra coloring this is another great tool as you can see mine is well loved it's a rub eraser and it's like an eraser for your adhesive and these mats if i ever get anything on here it cleans off really nicely but also from paper okay back to um, our little coloring project here so i i actually just used three colors and with the green I just went into the leaves here just to give them a little bit more definition. I didn't go all the way to the edge. You can. Like I said, there's no right or wrong way. I'm just wanting to shade it a little bit. And then when you press a little bit harder at the end in the middle here, it gets a little bit darker. And then the outside is a little bit lighter. And we do this leaf here just between the vines not all the way to the edge and there you have it then we have these ones here i just do an orange on those and again not the whole thing but they're so tiny so i just leave the tip um, uncolored and then i use my red and go in here from the bottom up a little bit so they look a little bit two-toned it's fall so and then the berries are red in my case and there you have it and our little rose or maybe it's a marigold i'm just going in with the orange here even on the outside a little bit and then I just used my red on the bottom of the bigger leaves here, maybe on the inside to shade it a little bit. And there you have it. So no big fuzz, just a quick coloring. And like I said, you can use anything coloring wise. Just remember if you use any markers, um, like alcohol markers or any other markers, they're gonna be stronger in color so just keep that in mind all right so i'm gonna put some foam dots on the back here and this one needs some foam too while we're at it one here one here remove the backing and as you saw, I just shaped my piece with my fingers a little bit, just to give it a little bit dimension. It might flatten out anyway in the envelope, but it just looks prettier, I think. So let's put this over here. And then we have our little flower. 
okay. Get the backing off. And this one covers up my things a little bit more. So I just tuck it underneath here. Okay, let's pull this up. Put this one on first. And then put this one on top here. So we just move it over a little bit. There you go. So you can put the flower underneath or on top of your leaves, whatever you want to do. So here is your card number two from this month's set. And the inside, I used a pencil and did my little doodles. So just a straight line here and a straight line here somewhat straight as you can see i do this freestyle i don't use a ruler so it's not 100 percent straight but i think that gives it character i don't want it to be too straight and then i just use a few little wrinkles here and there you have it so the inside if you wanted to Let's bring back our coloring. So this one is just lightly, really quickly give the leaves a little green. And the berries a little red color. And it's just a hint of color. So it's not that you have to press hard or, you know, be super exact. I'm just tinting it them a little bit so here you go all right and that concludes card number two so i will see you back here for card number three in a few days thanks for watching have a great day bye bye